who would it be? And that's a tough one because if you look at all the historical figures, there's just too many. But then I thought I would love to meet just ordinary people, say from 17 to 1800s, the people that were coming to this country and how they started and people who had farmland or people who were across in the United States. That would be interesting because those people had a rough. <laughs> we complain about, you know, what we have to do today, but those people, especially the people who lived out on the farms and lived off the land, oh my gosh. And I would like to meet family members that I've never met before, like great, great grandparents, all the way back. I think that'd be interesting. And to kind of let them know what's going on today and then find out how it was back then. Wouldn't that be cool? Makes me think about the time machine. Is there, is there or will there ever be a time machine? And if you think about it, if humankind survives in the, for, uh, I don't know, 10,000 years or a million years, it's possible, anything's possible, that maybe science will figure a way to travel in time. And if that's the case, if it ever happens, even if it's 10 million years from now and humans are still around, then that means they could travel to this time. And so we could have time travels in this time. I know that sounds far-fetched. Maybe it is. But I like to think about those things sometimes. That's why I like Star Trek and other sci-fi type of stories. So who would you like to meet that's not alive today? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you at the beach. It was just way too windy, and it's pretty chilly for this time of year. It's a little, usually it's hot by mid-April, but it's mid-70s, lower 70s, pretty windy, but beautiful. Uh, I tried to record what I could, so I'm hoping that it comes out. Well, that's all I got for today. It's a short one. Thumbs up if you like. Please share. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to live a passionate life.